All <clears throat> ready. We're fucking back. Do some shit, dude. Let's continue on our progression path here. Get my paddle going here. Go. Oh. All right. <clears throat> what are we doing here? Um. Oh wait. Am I over on stuff here? Like I am, right? Yeah. Oh. What am I over on? Fuel? Oh, what? Oh, what am I? Why am I using so much? Oh, it's okay. I changed the thing, didn't I? Fuck. Did I really change it? Oh, you know what I did? I didn't. I didn't edit it, Emil. Oh no. Mm. Let's do. Let's just do something real quick. I said I can maybe get this. The I wonder if it, I don't. Want, I don't think dev mode will work if I edit the. uh Yo, what it, Emil? what I forgot to do. Yeah, I didn't edit it. I didn't save it, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> Whoops. Gotta restore as so I can figure out what my settings are at. Where is it at? Skill overall. Let's see. I wonder if this will work. I'm gonna find out here pretty soon. See if it breaks my game. I forgot to edit the skill settings for percentage for fuel and uh, skill usage and supply usage. Big fucking rips, dude. Apparently my stream dropped a bunch of frames. Looks a bit.
Let's see what happens. I don't know. I don't think I don't think it'll work, but we can try. I have to restart the game really fast. Did I drop so many fucking frames? Wonder. Daddy Dilu? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Thanks for the follow, man. <laughs> Load, please, hurry up. Why does this have blackout on it now? It changed my. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I still gotta fix it, don't I? Uh, we can deal with it for now. Alright, uh, what are we doing here? Some bounties, maybe? Oh, it's Spiral Dragon, I think we'll fall through.
Oh no, my mic's been muted. My bad. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I got muted. Oh, I know how I got muted. The fucking cord was unplugged. Okay, well that works. Remind me. I appreciate you guys all the follows and stuff like that. Tomato, uh, no, I'm not running the latest one. The, uh, the, I know. Um, I'm not running the latest because I'm running the mid-run. I don't know if the update would be compatible or not, and I don't think it really does anything anyways. Besides limit the size, correct? Go Spiral and fucking Daddy D thing or whatever. Daddy D, I think that's your brother's name. Thanks for the follow. Oops, some tips, dude. I don't know what the fuck to do here. Tomato, are you are you gonna do the? Did you uh, look at doing the uh, the triangle shit for the shields? Have you taken a look at it? I wonder how much more oh, how much harder that is than than, than to do the than doing this. Yeah, I don't think. It, I mean, I can add it to my next run, Tomato. I will 100% add your update to the next run. By far. Can I fit all the triangle stuff yet? But then I'm wondering, uh, Tomato, are you able to. If you. So, for instance, if you get. If you get, like, triangle, like, shells instead of hexagon shells to work. Or would you be able to get it so, like, it maybe it randomly picks between each, like, each version, like. You can pick between like the filled, the unfilled of of each of like the triangle and the hexagon one, and they can like randomly put them on ships, or is that like too advanced to do? Because that might be cool looking too to see ships that have like just random ships that have different like looks of a shield. In a way, did I ever test these too? I think I did. Plausible looking at that'd be fucking sick. You still have that file I sent you, right, with all the modded factions added to it? Right? You should uh you should give that like uh, like, like, like a separate download for the for the uh, hex shield if people want it that way it's already done, they don't have to do it. I mean obviously they don't have to run it, but it would save people the problem of trying to figure out you know what I mean? Alright, I need to do I need to sit on this ship too. It's like the far side. Oh sick. I don't know how many of these yeah, I gotta wait for them to be made. Well tomato, I'm still trying to get used to like flying the uh the flying the radiant and it is it's it's stupid hard to get used to. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's really hard to get used to. Like, I just can't find, like, a good... I can't find, like, a good, like, outfit between them. I, mean, I can try charge protectors on these instead of these things. I mean, these aren't bad, but... I just don't know what the fuck to do for a like loadout. Maybe I can put tack hands on it and just call it a day. Frag damage. Yeah, they're they're really strong though. <laughs> like really strong. This thing is a nuke capitals. I, mean, I could just do Tachyon Lances on these, and just call it a day. Might work out better just to have them on, like, straight up, just like, auto fire, pretty much. Yeah.
problem is flux issue, right? Like. I don't know, like, the AI is just too good at fucking flying in this thing, dude. Like... I mean, I guess I could switch these out, other, other ones to, like, maybe to, like, fucking missiles, I guess, maybe? But then I'd have to, fi I'd have to figure out, like, a missile loadout for it that would actually, like, make sense. It's just such a hard ship to, uh... Yeah, I can take these off, can I? They have uh, MLRMs. I don't think I even have any, do I? Oh, I do. I put these on and then do like send a missile rack or something like that. Fucking 30. Don't even have enough. Oh, I, I can just keep range on this guy, too. Oh god, they're so slow. Disabled. Keep forgetting that this ship actually disables weapons. Man, I really don't like Apex. Honestly. My weapons are still disabled. Hello? I don't know the loadout for this thing. I just... I don't know, what do you guys suggest for this? Because I just can't figure out, like, a loadout for me to, like, fly it. I could try an auto pulse loadout. Just send it with auto pulses. Because I'm building the, the small ones, which are on... What are they on? They're on this one. I'm building a bunch of these mini pulsers. Maybe I just do fucking auto pulse loadout in this thing and just send it. Another thing is, do I use auto pulses or do I use Leah's? Because Leah's are really fucking good. I wish I had the Mandy's, but I don't have them unlocked yet. I have to go raid red. So these are pretty much a better auto pulse, so they don't have a mag. Actually, I'm going to say better. That's the problem, y'all. I don't know which one to pick. And you know how difficult my game is right now with... I'm taking less damage, and then also talk that like all the all the shit I'm running into is stupidly fucking strong. And I could do Leah's, and then do I could just do fucking f five Leah's on this and just let it just let it rip. Do this, and I could put uh put that back on. Whoops. I really want to put this on. This is stupid. I think it works with hardened shields, though. Oh, it does. Oh my god. 
50% damage reduction with 100% to both fold and turn rates, and 6% increased shield dark. That is stupid. Okay. Oh, you know what I need to put on here? Oh, foam dispenser, come on. Let's do it this way. Let's, let's do it this way. This will work. What else should I put on this thing? Oh, yeah, the projectiles thing, don't I? Where is it at? Um, These? No, that's not it, right? No. Where's the projectile thing at? Right the fuck that I can't remember what the fuck it's called. Oh, this thing right here. I got six left. Look at all always Leonard. Why is there no like why is there no like five or three or six? I don't do it like that. Um There we go. Oh, why am I not on this ship? What the fuck? Try this, maybe? The Mandy's would be another insane weapon I could get for these, but I need to go raid them, like I said. Because the Mandy's have that frag damage, so... This looks good right here. And then once I get Mandy's, I can put Mandy's on these bitches and just let her fucking go. The thing is, I can replace the tag lasers with the uh, auto pulses also. Like the mini ones. This is way better. I'll do it like this. The Spiral, are you here? Appreciate you guys giving me a follow. I wish I had some Mandy's done. I don't think I do, do I? Let's see if I can even make them. Let's see if that. Um. Oh yeah, I have eighteen mil in fucking production because I'm making a bunch of the these this shit. Um, let's go to Kulian. Do I have any? Oh. Look at him on. I'm wondering real quick. Is are the Mandy even acquirable? That's the question here. Let's see if they're even able. If you're even able to get them or not. Check real quick. Oh, yeah, Tomato, you got anything else going on and like like anything else you're working on, like mod wise, that might uh, be interesting for me to use? They're in a general blueprint from Akulian. Okay. Okay, so I can just go raid them, I'm assuming. Conte, however. Oh, do I have any? I wonder if I even have them then. Nope, I don't. Okay. Set up for a while. Damn. Really do appreciate you updating the lights out, though, honestly. Makes me quite happy that you did that. Oh, here's mediums. Should I just throw these on for mediums? Wait. Wait, do they have a... What's the medium version of the Leah? Is it this? No, right? Might be... What is it then? Is it... 
the missile, missile. Has to be about this. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Alright, I kinda wanna do a I kinda wanna reload and shoot my settings change for fuel and stuff again. Also, I mean, I might set up these ships, these cursed ships. The tomato, I'll give you a VIP. Once you're, you're gonna doing mods and shit for this, obviously. No, I really actually like these too. These uh what are they called? Clement class. These are pretty decent too. I think these are pretty decent ships. I wanna get the I wanna get the blueprint for these guys too. I really need to make a list of like I really need to make a list of like stuff I need to like acquire. Honestly, I think the Mandy's or I think the Leo's would be better on these. Honestly, yeah, I could do anti armor. I'd rather do Leo's. That I could do, I could put these on here too. Can I install an alpha core on this? Right. Oh, I don't have an alpha, so I can't do it yet. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm going to put on here. The need to put on the projectile thing, All right? Where's it at? I already have it on. All right, cool. Is there any, Emil, is there any other hull mods for projectiles that I might be overlooking that are, like, decent? Loader overdrive looks cool, too. Less range, but higher rate of fire. But, I mean, the, the Leah's already fucking, the Leah's already fucking fire stupid fucking fast as it is. That's a downside. Um, what is it called? Do you know the name of it? Is it this one? 
No, that's not it. I think I know what you're talking about. I just can't remember the name of it. Oh, that's sick. I didn't know that was a thing from... That, that must stack with the other ones then too, right? Oh god, that's gonna be... If I put that on... Oh, dude. Where's that at? Where's the reloader thing at? Magneto Turbo Bear. Okay, I'll look at it here in a second. This thing. Get the visible effect here too. 20% more damage. These are starting tabs, yeah. I'm wondering if this would actually be worth running with the Leas and the Mandy's just because they're such low, light flux as it is and they have such high fire rate. I think these would definitely be useful, be useful running with the uh, with the Mandy's, 100%. Because the Mandy's have that frag damage against Hull. Fucking where's weapons at? Let's try these new loadouts real quick on this, on these two. The mods are on hybrids. Ugh. I don't know. That might need to be the reworked. That might, that might, that might just need to be like just, just in general. Gotta love that OP limit. Yeah, it's retarded. What's up, Tunko? How you doing, man? Ordinance points, what the fuck? These weapons now in the front of this are really fucking strong. Yeah, it's definitely cheating. You're getting to like Tenko, you're get you're getting to like Maple Daddy's level of cheating, okay? <laughs> <coughs> That's not toxic at all. I promise. Cheating is relative. Well, for instance, we were just having a conversation about his his so-called hard run, and his hard run really wasn't a hard run. It was him buffing himself into oblivion and then not actually buffing the enemy at all, and then he just curb stomped them. And yeah, that's kind of interesting.
I need a good, I need a good, like, uh, medium projectile. The question is finding one that actually works good. Do they? Are they similar? Like, are you talking about looks or the, uh, are you talking about, like, the actual, like, mechanic they have? What are they called? Evelyn Particle Bolter. In the codex? I don't even look them up in the codex. What the fuck? Uh, am I stupid? Hmm. That's the available Tunko. His hard mode wasn't really hard mode, though. Like, it was very questionable of, like, You said MVS, right? Oh, this thing right here? Oh, is this the one that's on is it is this the one that's built into the uh to the wing of the other ship? Wait. Is it the one that's built into the wing on these, pretty much, or no? Oh, it's not. Also, wait one second. Wait, oh no, this one ship. That's what I was Wait, what is this? What did it say that this thing had built into it? Legendary. Wait, I'm so confused. Legendary integrated targeting unit. Oh no, legendary is a tag. I'm gonna bring this thing back out because it's actually really good. I kind of miss it. I don't think I have an elf card to throw on it though right now. I can build all of them in, haven't I? What with my mode? I mean, mine are winnable, but like they're winnable to an extent. Of it. it's kind of RNG. Like, do I kill enough stuff that like the correct stuff first, or do they just kind of like overwhelm some ships and kind of do it? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I find it enjoyable just because of the fact is like it's it's making me. Make me learn how to play the game in a different way that I haven't played before. You know what I mean? That's that's what that's what that's what's that's what's like that's what I like about it. Like, I'm actually spending hours upon fucking hours in fucking simulator and testing out fucking loadouts and this and that and like I never did that before. I just ran fucking beam loadouts and I just fucking beam bomb at everything. And fucking curb stomp shit, right? And it was fun. It was a fucking blast. I can't tell you how fucking fun that was. But this is also really enjoyable for me too because now I can sit here and I can learn the different way to play the game and how and uh and kind of adapt to it and I can learn different things that I didn't really think was possible before. Yeah, think I mean to me to me though like when you when you make in my head when you make a Hey, I'm gonna do a hard bro. I'm gonna do a hard mode, and it's gonna be really hard. And then you go and look at it, and he's got like he took like the OP buff and all like the bust to all the ships. And it's like, dude, like if you're doing a hard run, and you say hard mode, you don't take the stuff that buffs you. You buff the fuck out of the enemy, buff your colonies, give yourself some income, right? Like I did. Like I all, all the thing I did is I buffed my colonies pretty much, right? And like in my head, when you do, when you put like when you when you kind of like put out there, you're gonna do a hard mode run, right? Hard mode means you're gonna fucking buff the fuck out of the enemies, you're gonna be kind of base level, and you need to learn how to progress through that. And also, I'm... I, I, I very question Maple's play, play style sometimes, just because of the fact that every fucking ship he has, has like... 
Like, dude, he's running on all of his ships. He's running like four times the amount of hall mods I am, and I just, I just don't understand it. Like, it's, I don't know, man. It's just weird. To me, it's weird. Okay, like that's just me though. That's just me though. Like, she came in to to enjoy the game, I and mean, that's that's fine. But you're not. But you're also not out here advertising that you're doing a hard mode run, and it's really, you know what I mean. I think you guys understand. Yeah, I self limit myself because I want to learn how to fucking play the game differently, and I want to fucking struggle through the fucking to the game, not instead of just steamroll. You know what I mean. Not like no hate towards the guy, but like it's still questionable. Like I, I, I just don't understand it. Like I don't understand how he finds that fun. Cause he he literally gets to a point very 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 early on in his in his playthrough, like a couple hours in where he's just curb stopping everything. And to me, and I'm just like, is that really enjoyable for you overall though? Like converted hangar with warhogs in every ship. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, def get, get, I, de I definitely don't understand that, which is fine, but it's still, I think you can understand why I was, like, kind of like, hmm, yeah. Did I put on, um, I'm not, not everything selected. Did I not put on, um, health foam? Oh, it is. No, definitely. I, I definitely understand. Like, like I said, I'm not hating on him. I just, in my own mind, I question it because, like, if hard mode's supposed to be hard, don't fuck yourself. That's slowly, that's where I come from on it. Okay, uh, let's wait for this shit to get made real quick. I need to restart my game here pretty soon, too, by the way. Here, let's restart my game right now. And then we'll, uh, that way I can get those changes made for fuel and stuff. The stuff that I have done, Tedco, to make it a little bit easier on me is, uh, I have, I have, like, I cut fuel by, like, 70% just because of how massive my sector is, which is reasonable, to be quite honest with you. And then I cut my supplies by, like, 60%, like, usage, right? That way I can not focus so much on, like, oh, wow, I'm going to run out of supplies, like, running this big fleet or, you know what I mean? Because I'm still running against hard stuff, technically speaking. 